I'd love to drop into a meditation with you all. So if you haven't already muted yourself, I encourage you to do so, please. And if you want to turn off your video, go right ahead. Oops, I'm bumping wrong things here on my screen. There we are. Okay. Fabulous. So just go ahead, if you can, get your body comfortable wherever you are. And let's begin by slowing down our breath. And taking some deeper belly breaths doesn't have to be too deep, but just encouraging the body to begin to relax a little bit. Breathing in and exhaling out. And continuing to do that. And as you do that, just become aware of any thoughts that are going around in your head. Most of our thoughts tend to not be from all the lobes, but really just behind the forehead or on the sides of the brain. And that's where most of the cognitive activity is based and sourced. And there's, it's almost like we've got somebody talking to us inside of our brain. But have you ever really thought about it? Like what accent are they speaking in? And who is speaking to who? And if someone is speaking and someone is listening, are they the same person? I don't know about you, but it brings a smile to my face as I ask these questions. So continuing to breathe and just notice your thoughts. And what we can do is this, is as each thought comes in, we can ask it, who sent it? For what purpose? Where did it come from? And as we ask the thought, that question, the original thought actually gets replaced by us asking these questions. And it's quite simple. So just take a few seconds right now. Talk to your thoughts and just notice who's doing the talking, who's doing the listening, who's doing the questioning. And remember, there's no right or wrong to this. So you might not even have any answers, but just be curious as you continue to breathe. Talk to your thoughts for a moment. Has that inner voice ever said to you, oh, I wish I'd trust my gut or my heart really isn't in this? That's because we have our heart center and our gut mind and they're actually cognitive centers. But from an evolutionary perspective, they're very old. And they speak to us in a really primitive language. So our gut mind speaks to us in a yes and a no, <clears throat> excuse me. And our heart mind speaks in levels. So our gut mind will tell us that it's a go or a no go, but our heart beats with love, like it's red hot about something or it's lukewarm about something or it's positively cold. And we can use these centers to help us make decisions. So when we're faced with having to make a choice about something, our head is usually really loud and tells us what to do. Sometimes our ego can get inflated by some of our choices. And as a result, you want to keep calm throughout your day. So a great way to do this is for your head to consult with your heart and your gut before you make any decisions. 
And when you get your head, heart, and gut in alignment, we're pretty unstoppable. So take a couple of breaths right now with your hand over your heart and just feel your heart. How does it feel in this moment about you being here, about you taking this time for you? Is it cold? Does it look warm? Does it feel really nice and warm and hot? Or is it boiling hot? It gives you an answer pretty straight away. And then you can drop down and put your hands over your lower belly and your gut area. <clears throat> Take a couple more deep breaths, just checking in with the gut. And on that second breath, just to ask the gut, was it a good choice for me to come this morning? And it'll tell you yes or no. It's very straightforward. You get that answer pretty much instantaneously. So now move one hand to your heart, keeping one hand on your gut. And see if you can inhale into your gut and exhale into your heart. Feeling each of them as you move your breath along, connecting the two. Your head will still talk. And you can bring that question back. Who's talking right now? And that's enough to interrupt it and bring you back down into your body. The beauty of this is you can do this at any point in the day or night. So if you're having a hard time sleeping, or you're just feeling anxious during the day, you can ask your thoughts where they came from. Who sent them? What was their purpose? You can do that playfully even. Doesn't have to be super serious. But notice as you ask them this question, they start to go quiet. And this can be a calming meditation. So when you're ready, take one more big inhale in and one more big exhale out. Allowing yourself to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers and come back into your body. Slowly opening your eyes and coming back to the room with us. And just remember as you come back that you are wonderful exactly as you are. So feel free as you come back <clears throat> to take a couple of moments uh, and our topic today is uh, basic needs. And sometimes those unpleasant emotions are triggered by neglecting our basic needs. So by regularly fulfilling these needs, it helps us to better manage our stress, to manage our thoughts or decrease our vulnerability to intense emotions and, you know, leaves us in a different place to be less likely to act impulsively or feel as overwhelmed. So kind of just think about what we just did and what basic needs you are most prone to neglect. 
and maybe what actions you could take to better meet them or how you might ask for help to meet them in order to be a better you in this moment. So take a couple of minutes and take some notes and then we'll share. 